Do you have any mental health struggles? Even if not, what do you find useful for your mental health self-care? Yeah, so I uh, sometimes get some social anxiety depending on the situation. And something that I found really helpful is different deep breathing techniques. Um, can really help kind of ground myself before going into the situation or maybe if I'm feeling uncomfortable while there, it can help a little bit uh, to, to reduce some of the anxiety. Um, so I do uh, have some mental health struggles myself. Um, I've had a lifelong struggle with anxiety and obsessive compulsive disorder. Um, and those are pretty intertwined in most people as they are in myself. Um, it's been a long road of kind of therapy and medication and, and lifestyle changes to help deal with that stuff in my life and get to a point where I can um, function the way that I do now. Um, I would say the things that have kind of helped me the most with my mental health are um, therapy and then kind of taking time to do the things that I learned in therapy and put them into practice in my own life and actually like do the work, um, but then also be compassionate for myself on days when I can't do that stuff. and. Um, and then just, yeah, com compassion for myself sometimes when I'm just not able to do the same things that everyone else seems to be able to do. Um, so I've been diagnosed with the schizoaffective bipolar type, and I also have a generalized anxiety, although most of my anxiety is really focused more so on social anxiety. Um, I especially find uh, things like, well, lifting weights and stuff like exercise in general, I find really helps my anxiety in particular. Like even just days after I feel an, an effect from doing that exercise, like that day, like probably up to a week, really, I feel like there's effects. And um, then there's another big thing, like music, obviously, like I got my headphones here and my Avenged Sevenfold stuff. but. You know, like, I'll be walking, I'll be listening to music, I'll be on the bus, I'll be listening to music, I'll be at home, I'll be li listening to music. It just makes me really happy. I often talk about music, too. It's like, all over my life, it's just music. And then there's just other little things, like, uh, sort of CBT techniques I do in my mind when I'm anxious or whatever, and... Yeah, that's about it. Do you feel that treatments besides medication have been often understated and or underutilized? I think that's a huge thing um, in our society today. Um, I think often we tend to use medications as like a kind of band-aid solution. And our healthcare, there's not necessarily a lot of continuum of care here. In Nova Scotia and so it's easy sometimes to go to a doctor um, and have them prescribe something for you and that might kind of take you from you know you're down here that might take you up here but if you're combining medication with like some therapy um, talk therapy obviously is a huge one can bring you up higher and then other than that, I mean, there's there's talk therapy, but there's also just sometimes taking a step back in our crazy, fast-paced way of living in here in Canada and realizing that it's okay to sometimes not um, meet those goals that we put up for ourselves every single day um, and uh, take care of your own mental health um, before trying to then go and work and do school and do all of those other things and sometimes um, those those solutions are pushed to the wayside because we have the expectations that we're supposed to be productive members of society at all times um, and um, yeah sometimes uh, that just completely takes us out of the reality of uh, that we are human beings who need to slow down and take care of ourselves. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I feel like a lot of psychiatrists and doctors often focus on medication rather than 
other treatments. Um, my psychiatrist is actually pretty good in that way, in that he'll often suggest treatments besides medication. But like, you know, there's so many different things that you can do. You know, there's the obvious stuff like therapy, but like there's other stuff like, well, listening to music, music therapy, uh, what else, you know, like, like exercise in general, physical activity, you know, art therapy. There's just like so many options that a lot of people don't think of or like focus on, I guess. What are some general effects you notice in regards to music, either personally or professionally, on mental health? Mm, yeah, so I think it can be really calming as well. Um, and I think I like that word grounding. I think it can provide a bit of structure uh, to help through different situations or um, to have that outlet of self-expression and a way to get maybe thoughts or feelings that are inside out and to be um, looked at in a different light. How are you to become a music therapist? I've always had a passion for music and have played in different bands and solo for many years and I actually went to Acadia originally for environmental geoscience and I'm quite colorblind and realized <laughs> I couldn't do that <laughs> job <laughs> and looked into the music department and that's when I first found out about music therapy so I uh, spoke with the head of the department and could to see if it would be a good fit and to learn more about it and uh, it really seemed like that was exactly what I wanted to do and I haven't looked back since. So. In regards to your practice as a music therapist, could you relate some especially positive experience you've had with clients? Yeah, that's a tough one. I've had lots of great experiences with uh, people. Um, would be a good example. I think just seeing people come out of their shell is really rewarding. Um, maybe trying something that they never thought they would do before, whether that's singing for the first time or trying an instrument or just having a discussion about uh, music that really touches them uh, because everybody's so different. You never know uh, what style or singer or artist is going to uh, inspire. Do you personally find music helpful for your, like, Mental health? Oh, abs absolutely. So, um, I find even if I've had, you know, maybe a bad day or something, just picking up my guitar and kind of being free, just kind of letting myself play, play around um, is very comforting, as well as songwriting, um, as well, uh, yeah, and just listening to, to other favorite types of music um, and kind of matching my mood. So if I'm angry or upset that it's okay to have music that mirrors that and then you know if i'm it's a nice sunny day and to have some kind of poppy yeah. stuff like you know that uh that's really helpful too what are your recommendations for people who wish to incorporate more physical activity to help their mental health as well as in general um well, I think the big thing is like kind of realizing that a lot of things are considered physical activity, even stuff like gardening, which I don't know, I feel like a lot of people don't necessarily think of, but like even just something as simple as walking is physical activity, you know what I mean? Um, and then there's other things like, let's say you don't really do much exercise or physical activity one day. Um, I think it's important to realize too that like you have six other days in the week to, you know, try to do something, anything like... 1% is better than 0%. And like, and like really you don't have to do it all at once. It's very good to split it up. Even just do like a mini workout or here and there. Or like, let's say you decide that in the morning you wanna do like 20 minutes of walking and then 20 minutes, I don't know, at nighttime or just like do a few push ups here and there. You know what I mean? It really, I think it's really good to like split it up and if you don't necessarily want to do it all at once. It can make it feel a little less overwhelming. Yeah, and intimidating. Or, and yeah, intimidating, yeah. yeah. Any particular advice as to general nutrition for mental health? Um, 
Well, I think it's very important just to make sure you get all your nutrients in. You know, like a lot of nutrients are like kind of almost directly linked to mental health. You know, like low levels of magnesium have been linked to like anxiety in different studies. And like the the one we all know, omega-3 can really help like with depressive symptoms and different things. And, and you know, just, yeah, just like getting your vitamins and minerals in is really important. Also, your like, well, your calories, like... And that, um, I feel like often times will pe- people almost sort of like rest- overly restrict and like, <laughs> and like, you know, eating disorders are really on the rise and like that can contribute to different things like eating disorders, even just like, what's the term? Um, what's, oh my God, that's, sorry. Uh, disordered eating, that's kind of what I'm thinking of. Yeah. So yeah, just try to get your calories in and like all your nutrients. regards to your education path and overall life experience, what are some uncommon or lesser known treatments you've learned about in regards to mental Mm. health and illness? That's a great question. Um, One that has been like huge in my life in recent years is uh, spending time in nature and being mindful when you're doing it. So sometimes you can spend time in nature by going for a walk and not even kind of be present when you're doing it. So one thing that I try to do is um, if I'm feeling really down is get myself outside one way or the other. Even at times it has literally been me wrapping myself in a blanket and sitting outside um, of my apartment and and just kind of laying there and, and listening and feeling the breeze on my face, hearing the birds, um, taking time to push away sometimes the thoughts of the day um, and just sit with being outside. And I think it kind of relates for me anyway back to the busyness of society that I was talking about and having to always be productive. So, I don't necessarily need to go out for like a walk where I'm getting my heart rate up and getting myself, um, you know, it just, I, I, I don't know. I think it just comes back to, for me, sometimes I need to quiet myself and instead of being productive, even doing like therapy tasks or techniques, like I just need to sit and, um, take stock of even like my body and how I'm feeling too. Um, so that has been a huge technique for me that I don't find is talked about very much. Um, it's kind of sometimes just medication, talk therapy, and that's it. Um, but yeah, time in nature is, is huge in my life. Uh, as a future social worker, is there a specific area of mental health mm. treatment you wish to focus on? And if you do, why? Mm. Yeah, so uh, counseling is probably going to be where I see myself. Um, I think that I will learn more about what kind of techniques speak to me and are ones that I use with clients. Um, but I particularly even through my time here at Lang House have found that the conversations around wellness that I have um, with the members uh, it just feels very natural and it uh, brings me a lot of joy in my own life to have those conversations with people when it's things that I've worked on for many years myself Um, to kind of have that come a little bit like full circle um, is very meaningful and if I you know ever feel that I've helped someone in that way or even given them time to take a little bit of a burden off of their shoulders um, then then I think that just feels like the best thing ever so uh, hopefully that's where I will be going in social work Um, and I know I'll be in the mental health field Um, Yeah, so stay tuned.